Okay, the last couple of slides we're going to talk about here are brokerage firms. Those are the people that are you're probably going to pay to do your investings, your Northwestern Mutual type. Um, I have State Farm does some investing for me personally. Uh, there's many different forms out there. Hartford Mutual, things like that. So brokerage firms facilitate the buying and selling of investments on the stock exchange. Discounts, there's two types, discount and full service. Discount only only completes to buy and sell investments. They don't give you any advice. So that you're going to them and saying, I want you to buy stock in Coca-Cola or this mutual fund or Google or Apple. They don't give you any advice. And then they just basically buy for you and you're good. Full service, they'll do the transactions for you. They'll, they'll buy, but they'll sit you down with the financial advisor and figure out what works best for you. And with the financial advisor, that's a person that they try to figure out what you should invest in. They want to know your investment philosophy, which is your comfortability with risk, how much money you have, all that stuff. Okay. They're going to find out your financial goals. All right. So with that also, um, the full service, they have fees. Okay. They get a percentage of your investment um, and to keep going on your investment, to maintain your accounts, they get a fee there. Um, the discount one, they just charge you a service fee to make the um, transaction, to buy Coke or buy Google. So that's the difference. Most of us, most of the public will, will join up with full service, excuse me, a full service brokerage firm. And this is just how they make some money. They get a percentage of your fees and investment. So when, when, to, when to figure out what to choose for a brokerage firm? What makes you most comfortable? They'll try to pressure you a little bit. I would ask them about their history of positive reviews and success. How have they done? How long has the firm been in business? How are your financial advisors paid? The people that you're going to be working with, how are they paid? That might determine how pushy or how comfortable you are with them. All right. And then how does that brokerage firm rate with other ones? Um, tax advantage uh, investments. When are you going to be taxed on the money you make? There's two ways. You can do it um, at the beginning or the end. All right. Government's always going to want to get theirs. Um, so when are, when, are, when are taxes for tax advantaged investments usually paid? Okay. Money is invested. So we're going to follow these arrows. Money is invested and taxes are paid. Money grows untaxed with the help from compounding interest. Money is withdrawn. Money is invested. Money grows untaxed from the compounding interest. Money is withdrawn and taxes are paid. So you can either be taxed at the beginning or at the end. There's different uh, schools of thought on either. Um, let's see here. Some retirement accounts here that you may hear. When you get out in the real world, world, 401k, 403b, they're tax exempt. That's tax exempt. Um, those are employer sponsored uh, retirement plans, plans that you would have with your work. Um, you have personal retirement. You have a traditional IRA. IRA stands for individual retirement account. So for me personally, I have an IRA with State Farm where I put so much in a month plus my school retirement. So I have two retirement accounts. Um, but you have a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA. Um, traditional IRA taxes when money is withdrawn. So at the end, IRA, uh, Roth IRA when the money is deposited. So when you put it in, that's when it's taxed. Um, these, a lot of people have these, a lot of your parents will have 401k. So that's investing. Big thing you need to know is risk. That's your comfortability with uh, losing money. And investing, you have risk levels, moderate, conserv conservative, moderate, and aggressive. How you invest depends on how long you have the time. The older you are, the more moderate to conservative you're going to be. The younger you, you are, you can be more moderate, aggressive to aggressive because you, you have more time. So that's investing. It's been fun. Wash your hands. <laughs>